You smell that, boys? That is the smell of trade season. Trade rumors, whispers, mullings, rumblings, rumors, rumor mill, scuttlebutt, Instagram trails, social media sleuthing. It's alive and well. It's delicious, Robbie. Palpable. Can taste the sea air. Buyers regret from the off the offseason signings from the Oh, before. how can we fix what we did? How can we undo what we've done? I feel like Sahid have been doing that for uh yeah. for a lot. For a lot of decision. But whoo. I just love si- I, what is the front of the boat? Is that the bow? Is that is that is that is that what that's called? I feel like I go out to the bow and just take a look. Look out there. Are ye dogs? Very exciting. So yesterday, little rumbling started to happen. So I don't know if you've heard of this guy, uh, Robbie. His name is Mark Stein. Still hasn't gotten back to me. Yeah, still hasn't gotten back to you. Uh, Mark Stein, he had a little reporty report on the New Orleans Pelicans. And, you know, they have not been off to the start. I think everybody thought. Now, look, Zion hasn't played. Uh, This whole year was supposed to be the coronation of Zion. It's why... The Pelicans are basically on national television every other night, is because <laughs> people thought, thought Zion was going to play. People thought Zion was going to play. Can't they, don't they fix that though? Some ways, but I don't think there's there's some games they can't get out of. Like I don't think they can get out of Christmas. Right. Christmas game is a Christmas game, right? Um, so they're stuck, and I think they're also bang like they don't want to do it too much because you know they don't want to they don't want to lose the debut of Zion whenever that may happen. So you're kind of you're kind of eating it now to pay up for it later. But Mark Stein. He put out there, he's just throwing it out there, that the Pelicans are now willing to trade point guard extraordinaire Drew Holiday. Oh, he's, I like him. Yeah, he, Kung Fu Drew. Goes out there, the dog defensively. Great playoff series, uh, playoff performance a couple years ago, him and Anthony Davis. But, you know, he's not really in line age-wise with the rest of those guys. They're not off to the start they thought so. Maybe the Pelicans are looking at this saying, all right, we go do some more asset collecting. And uh, this this one individual, uh, his name is Kendrick Perkins. Have you heard of him? He's uh, he's like ESPN's new star. They love Kendrick Perkins. And I will say, not a Kendrick Perkins guy uh, because of uh, the old Celtics days. Or the old mumbles. <laughs> that, the, uh, the old thunder days where... You know, Dwayne Wade, you know, he he nut dunked Dwayne Wade, and then Dwayne Wade, I mean, one of the nastiest dunks of Dwayne's career. You ever see the Kendrick Perkins dunk? Yes. Oh, the spin move right on his head. I mean, it's an all-timer. So Kendrick Perkins has been tied up with the Heat a lot, but he did play with Drew Holiday. He did play with Drew Holiday for a brief time in New Orleans. He played just under 40 games in New Orleans while Drew Holiday was there. And he had a tweet yesterday, Leroy, and Kendrick Perkins – he tweeted out, Drew Holiday and Jimmy Butler would make a pretty damn good backcourt. Although I love what Kendrick Nunn is doing, he's not Drew. Pat Riley might want to hit up Griff and see if he's got some action at Drew. It's interesting. So he's seeing the natural it doesn't, fit. But, but for, a guy, for a guy he's played with to see that that's a natural fit. That's awesome. Yep. That's great. Yep. Doesn't fix the, fix the issues. Well, what's that? Size. Uh... It's what, yeah, but that's one of the issues. But, but okay, it, okay, it, but that that is when you get down to the playoffs and start competing for a run, that matters because everything gets slowed up. Honestly, man, I disagree with you. I think in the playoffs, going going and getting whatever mediocre big man you think is going to add size to this team is not going to be as important as having a guy on the wing like Drew Holiday who can defend okay. with you guys. Okay. Now, here's the question: He's 29 years old. Makes a lot of money. Makes a lot of, of money. Course. He, that, a, that was one of those big year deals. Yep. Worth it. I mean, he's he, now. He's he, worth it. He's, uh, he's making like 27, 20, 26. I, I got the trade machine in front of me. His number is 26 and change million. Um, he has a player option in the Magic Summer of 2021. 2021. So, and I think he's going to be like 32. Which isn't terrible. So, it's not, it's not crazy to think that he would opt out of that outside of the fact of like Drew Holiday tears, tears an Achilles. It's not crazy to think that a 32-year-old Drew Holiday could opt out of that and make more money, something similar to like what Kyle Lowry's doing right now. Um, it would be a move where 
you would be looking to upgrade immediately. Now, again, this is the part where Leroy gets mad at me. Because he's a very good player. I don't want to hear you jackasses, and I know... Oh, my God. Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters and James. James Johnson matches up, bro. Make it happen with a 2026 first round pick. I'm not going to even get mad at you for that because that you got to you gotta be real about the trade. You got to be at the you big gotta boy be, table. So, so you're going to have to throw a nugget out there. Yep. A Kendrick Nunn. Nope. Uh, a Tyler Hero. Oh. Most likely, I would say this is the most likely piece they would part with, would be Justice. And all honesty, if you're going to get a point guard of his caliber, right? Uh, that would be the guy I think would be sure. first in line with a move. Sure, move to sure, me. okay, um, okay. But the question is, are there going to be more suitors for Drew Holiday? And I would say there probably are. You're very thin at at the draft picks you could trade. I don't know when the next one would be. What twenty twenty five? Yeah, would be the next one you could trade. Um, now, 2025 is a long time away. Pat Riley would be damn near, what, 80, uh, 80 with that? So, uh, maybe he don't give a rat's ass. I don't know. We know him. He's sometimes a draft guy. Sometimes he's not a draft guy. Just depends what mood he's in. You don't know. You know, people say that he's not a draft pick guy. You're so wrong. So, so let me ask you this. Same scenario. Scenario. Right. But I get you... Steven Adams. Uh, Who has more of an impact? Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. No way. Drew Holiday. You have scoring. You have scoring. Well, yeah, but you don't have but, but you're adding you're adding a, an elite wing defender too. And especially you have one of the rare point guards, the one of the rare point guards Leroy who does it on both ends. No, of course. Of course. No, I'm not not even disputing that. Plus you got to Plus, cool nickname, Kung Fu Drew. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just merely saying that if you, I'm not saying that it's a lateral move, mm-hmm. but it's closer than a lateral move if you went and got some size. I, this is what I would say. I don't, I don't. Let's say the move is Justice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that seems the most likely guy. I think that he would be willing. Oh, to Oh, sure, with. absolutely. Uh, but, because, but you got to be careful because dude's got a broke back. Dude, he's got to broke everything. Like he, he's got to broke everything. Man, I didn't know that he was. He missed a lot of games. No, I he missed a for lot last of games. Two years, three years, three years. Yeah, he's missed a lot of games. Has he ever played more than fifty games? Sixty, more than sixty. <sighs> maybe I feel like last year he did, and maybe be his rookie year. But remember, he had the second year where he missed a lot of time. They right. ended up getting surgery, and the heat. Yeah, uh, his first year he played. That's when they had. Games. That's when they had the turnaround. The year, the year that the he thirty. Was that the? That was the second year. That was the thirty and eleven year. Was he was he out. Had, he was out. Okay. Remember, they were giving him the most shots. It was kind of. Oh all yeah, and then they put him on the shelf. Yep. Because he was and they took shooting off. like crazy. They took off. Um. But let's just say that's not enough. Let's say because I think most Heat fans, if you were to say, would you give up Justice Winslow for Drew Holiday? It, it is a win now move. Yes. Um. The only thing I would say that is a who would big, you throw in. I, I think it's got to be one of the young guards. I think it's got to be. I think it's either got to be Tyler Duncan or Kendrick Nunn. If I had to, if I had to, I would go Kendrick Nunn. But the numbers don't match. No, I'm saying you would have to throw in. You'd have to throw in with Justice and with, you know, I, I would guess in that scenario, Dion Waiters or James Johnson, yeah, one of those Sally right. Filler, one of those Sally Fillers. And that's why those guys are still in, in some ways still useful. Right. But but And Griff did have Dion Waiters in Cleveland. They did ship him out. <laughs> but no, that's that's kind of how now Yeah, okay. That's fine. But again, when you're talking about impact, when you're talking about because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose Bam and what he can do. Simply because of where he's going to have to play coming down, you know, going down the stretch. Just like you think it's going to be too physical for him? I just think he's going to have to play inside and it's going to take away from his full game. This is what I would say that I, that I would be concerned with the Drew Holiday move because I do like Drew Holiday as a player. Um, parting with those assets who I think are, are right now in a p- p- position where they can get even better, right. especially Tyler Hero. We really don't know what the – he's 19. 
he's 19 and he is he has not looked scared as a, as a shooter. So I'm not really interested in, in trading Tyler Hero unless it's for an elite player. Um, and Drew Holiday is a very nice player. He's an All Star player. I don't think he's an elite player. Um, and also, I'm concerned with the fact that if you have this grand plan of getting in the room of 2021 with Giannis um, or or whoever the next free agent, Victor Oladipo, whoever, um, I don't want to risk that on oh wink wink player option. Maybe he'll opt out. I would like to see, I would like to keep that flexibility there. Um, and to your point of do you need that 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 point guard if Justice were for example if Justice were to come back and be healthy for you mm-hmm. could he do things that are Drew Holiday like that you'd be that, yeah but that, he's not he's not the he's not Drew Holiday he's not he's not the, close the to score no he, no right no but can he do things of that quality like having having right now the tandem of Goron and Justice when they get back healthy is it enough to just be is that enough to just to just uh make up for having Drew Holiday even though he's on the same age line as Jimmy Butler and the same uh you know the same timeline as him um it's it's a win now move but is it a win enough move and I don't know if no, it is I don't because think it is it's not because you you need size like it's not it can't go like we've seen this team we've seen the team that's excellent and plays hard and plays defense and scores the ball that has no size those teams don't have success. They don't. They don't because when the game slows down, however much it slows down, it slows down some in the playoffs. When it gets to crunch time, you know what you need to do? You need to solidify your defense, and how do you do that with rebounds? We'll be back with more after this.